Good morning, Freedom Kids. Uh, we want to welcome you to this Sunday on January 9th. And um, as you guys are just getting now started back into school, we at Freedom Kids want to um, encourage you. If you had good habits last semester and you got the grades that you expect and your parents expect and know that you're capable of, then continue those habits into this next semester. And if you did not achieve or accomplish what you wanted to last semester, semester then that means you got to switch it up a little bit to achieve and uh, get the grades that you want to so just a little message from us because we know the year is starting back up and the semester is starting um, and also the main idea for today is we can hear God's voice if we listen so we're gonna get into the worship and then we'll hear the message and you'll see me in just a second
little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. So just in case you're wondering, yes, I am still stuck in a museum. Long story short, I went to the museum when it was closed. See, I didn't know it was closed, but it was. And now I'm stuck in here all day. Can you believe that? Well now, I gotta find something to do. Maybe I should explore a new part of this museum. It's really big, and there's so much I can learn. Let's go. All right, now we are in the aquatic part of the museum. If it lives in the water, we're gonna learn about it. I mean, what else am I gonna do? Nap? Well, I could. No. Well, no. Well, eh. Let's learn. Oh, neato! I get to pick what I want to learn about first. Hmm. Let's go with whales. Not many people know that the blue whale is the largest animal to ever live on Earth. Holy moly! The blue whale's heart weighs as much as a car, and their tongue as much as an elephant. That's insane! Let's try sharks. There are more than 500 species of sharks. And while sharks are as old as the dinosaurs, they are still more active than ever. Oh, and they also don't have any bones. That is terrifying. Let's check out the turtles. Green sea turtles have a more plant-based diet and eat seagrass. By keeping seagrass short, they prevent it from getting tall and harming other sea creatures. Wow. They're like lawnmowers in the ocean. Sea turtles can also hold their breath for over five hours at a time and live up to 100 years old. <laughs> Wowzers, that's just incredible. Thank you, Mrs. Voiceover Museum Woman. You're welcome. Wait, you can hear me? Of course I can hear you. Wow, I thought you were just a robot. Nope. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, so where are you from? Yeah, I'm going to leave now. Oh, OK, cool. Bye. That was awkward. I heard that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean it. Wait. Hi, Andy. Carl, what's up, man? Nothing. Did you know turtles are lawnmowers? Um, no. No. Well, they are, and it's pretty cool. I love the ocean. Water is so cool. When was water invented? It's got to be new, right? Uh, no. Water's been around for a while, Carl. Well, agree to disagree. But I do think there's something special about water. Oh, for sure. I mean, even water was a big part of John the Baptist's story. Wait, the locust and honey guy? What did he do with water? Well, we can take a look at the book of John in chapter 3. It was at this time John the Baptist wanted to share a very important message. Oh, a very important message. I wonder what it could be. Well, the thing was, during this time, a lot of people started to talk. Talk? Talk about what? They began to talk about how maybe John the Baptist was the actual Messiah. What? Really? They thought John the Baptist was the son of God? Our Savior? What happened? Well, John spoke to the people and he told them, I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I will come. The straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Whoa, so he was telling them and preparing them for Jesus? How cool is that? But what about... What? I don't know, but for some reason when you said the word baptize, it made me think of the water stuff we were talking about. Right, and that makes sense because guess what happened next? John the Baptist jumped into a macaroni rocket ship and flew away to the moon? No. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Well, what happened? Well, Jesus came to the river where John was, and it was time for Jesus to do something super cool. Can you guess what that was? Jesus jumped into a macaroni rocket ship and went to the- Carl? What? Jesus could do anything. I just figured he could. Jumped into a macaroni rocket ship and fly to the moon. Exactly. So did he? No. Fine. So what did Jesus do that was so much more important? He got baptized. <gasps> Right? Jesus got baptized, and then he began to pray. And guess what happened while Jesus was praying? Jesus jumped in I don't know, Andy. What did happen? The heavens opened up, the Holy Spirit came down to Jesus, and God spoke. What did God say? God said, you are my son, whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. That is so cool. God spoke. Right? And that's so important to remember. God always speaks, but it is up to us to listen. Wow, I guess that's true.
Hey there kids, today's big idea is we can hear God's voice if we listen. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. We can hear God's voice if we listen. Great job everyone. I loved getting to listen to today's story. What about you, Carl? Huh? I said I loved getting to- Just kidding, I heard you. Oh no, I made Jada angry, watch out. <laughs> she might get all green and start smashing things. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Jada. See you later, kids! Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV! Okay, so what a great lesson that we just learned about Jesus and John the Baptist. And in that uh, story, a good thing that I wanted to identify to all of you is that Jesus was baptized. And what exactly is baptism to you and me? Baptism is an expression showing that we are deciding to follow God. So going into the water is us giving up our old life and our old decisions and coming up is us accepting God and His way for our lives and a new path for us. So if any of you are interested in making that choice, we encourage you to submit that to kids at myfreedomdfw.com and we will show you the next steps forward. Prayer for today is, Dear God, we know we can hear your voice if we listen. Thank you for speaking to us. Help us listen for your voice and recognize the moments when you speak to us, even in small, not so obvious ways. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so the questions for today's lesson are the following. We're going to get into it. So the first one is... What did Jesus mean when he said that he was unfit to untie Jesus' sandals? So, what he meant by that is John knew that what he was doing was baptizing people with just water. However, in the Bible, as we read and we heard that Jesus would come down and baptize people with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So in other words, he knew that Jesus was the Son of Man, the Messiah that they had all been waiting for. And so that is why he was saying he wasn't really fit to do it. The second question that we have from this is, why was John shocked when Jesus asked him to baptize him? So, John was shocked because John knew that he was just a man and that Jesus was the Son of God. And it says that John was the one who was baptizing people with water, God, the Holy Spirit, and fire, like I mentioned in the other question. And it shows us that Jesus can use whoever he wants to accomplish what he wants with the vision that he has for our lives. And we are the ones who need to respond just how John did and Jesus said it has to be this way. The question is what did God say when Jesus was praying after he came out of the water? So God said in front of everybody you are my son with whom I am well pleased. All right for today's memory verse it's going to be found in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. And it says, you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. I want to put some movements to it and I want you to join me. So get ready. Let's say the verse again. It says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. And I want this to stick with you throughout the week. Here's the moment, movements. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Try with me. 
You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart.